Hello guys and welcome back to another podcast. Today we are going to be doing a podcast with Liam Katz. He's actually here. Yeah, I'm actually here. Uh-huh, real life. Breaking so. all the rules. Uh-huh, well. Is there still rules? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I don't know. If there are ten people in here, then yeah, 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 yeah. we'd be arrested. Well, well, there's n- only two, only two, we promise. So, uh, you know, how's your last week of school been? Um, it's, it's, it's it, there's only two days. Oh, well, yeah, so, but still. Um, it was good because... I didn't have that much work except science, which yeah. I, feel, I feel, feel like every podcast I talk about science. Yeah, you know, hey, it's and it's kind of a rite of passage now in podcasts. <laughs> science is was like my least favorite subject and the most annoying teacher, and she was the only one that gave work this week, so it was kind of fitting. But how was your last week? Uh, I had all of my teachers give me homework, um, but it, like. In my opinion, it's the last week of school. If I'm a teacher, I'm giving the minimal amount of homework I have to give. And some of my teachers were giving me more. And, like, like a lot of them were acting like this there should be finals. So they were giving out, like, a final type assignment where, like, they were worth, you know, close to 100 points, over 100 points. And I'm like, there's not supposed to be a final. And I, I don't know. It was dumb, in my opinion. But still. And then... I had for some class or for one class, I had assignments all the way up until the end of the year, and they were all for a unit. And I was like, we're never gonna take a test on it. So why at this point are we even starting it with like three days left to school? But we did it anyway, and I was like, okay, well, alrighty. But other than that, I don't know. The last week was fine. I feel I feel like they're giving us a lot of work the last week because we got out earlier than we were supposed to. Mm-hmm. But the like it's the last week and. It's not like it's the last week of school where we just have, like, like a, just sit in class and have fun. Mm-hmm. And then an assembly last day. The last day was, the, there's no assembly. How do they well, yeah. I would have I would have liked to maybe have, like, it would have been cool to maybe have, like, all those, like, ninth grade Zoom call. But it would have been very difficult with, like, trying to get Probably. everybody in there and everything. But I don't know. So... I don't know. The last week of school was fun, or not fun, but (laughs) it was nice to finally get this over with. At least in my opinion, I hated um, virtual learning. What did you think of it? It was really bad because it, like, the you would the teachers are always like, we're always available, we're always checking our email, and then you would email them, and you wouldn't get a response for like a day, Mm -hmm. and. It was frustrating because, like, the assignment was due, you know, that day, and you send them an email, uh, you know, asking about the assignment, and then they wouldn't always respond back as quickly. And, you know, I find, you know, it's harder to ask questions. It's harder to get, you know, comprehend or like comprehensive answers that are like, you ask a question, they'll just email you back real quick and give you like a quick step. And it's like, that might not be helpful. I might need more help. Or, you know, like, I had teachers that would give me these really long, like, notes and really long things. Like, it's acting like it's a regular class. Or some teachers would give me double the work because they're like, well, you know, we're not, or we missed, you know, a couple weeks of school. So we're trying to cram in everything before the end of the year. And I'm just like, I, I can understand why they would want to try to do that. But at the same time, it's like, no one's really trying. And I don't think it was important. But. Mm-hmm funny because like, science again mm-hmm. I uh, I was at like a 62 percent and you have to get like a 61 or higher to pass and we're doing pass or fail so if I failed that would have been like a problem but um so my mom and I were contacting the teacher and about stuff and I have an IEP so we were just making sure that this was I like this was IEP friendly and stuff, and then um, we were like, I'm gonna, I'm, my mom was like, I'm gonna get Liam a tutor to help him, and she was like, no, don't get a tutor, don't get a tutor, it's fine, it's fine, and then my mom got a tutor, she's like, okay, we got a tutor, now we're gonna make sure we get all the work done and stuff. After my mom said we got a tutor, she stopped giving work that like I needed the tutor for, so I was just able to, to like do it by myself. And then mm-hmm. the tutor did absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just like, in my opinion, for virtual learning, it's, the work should not be that hard. Like, you should be able to either learn from the videos or teach yourself. And I think, you know, both of those can be important skills in your life. But, like, 
when you're giving us these huge, there are these things that we might not have understood at all before the break, and you're just like, oh, learn this or search it up. And it's like, we don't always know the best ways to learn it. We don't always know the best things. And that was like a big thing for me is when we had tests and it was like something about vocab or like, at least some of my teachers, a lot of times in class, they might say, you know, something specific that which they would be like, oh, this is probably going to be on a test and talk about it where in this virtual learning they didn't do that mm -hmm. and so I found it you know hard because they just pretty much took the test and copied and pasted it and put it into canvas google classroom whatever they were using and so it made it a little more difficult but yeah but you could always look up answers and stuff online mm -hmm. which I did I did a lot of so like for tests and stuff but then I realized like the second to last week I was before that, I was like sweating to get everything done, and I was like, I think I was overdoing work and stuff, and then I finally um, just decided I'm just gonna do what they ask. I'm not gonna like make sure everything's right and stuff. And then after that, like my grades started going up, mm -hmm. and so I was stressing about nothing. And when I stopped stressing, it was fine. I feel like a lot of the teachers have like too high of standards for like mm -hmm. what they expect. Like, oh, wait, I get we're high schoolers, you expect us to have a certain level of work, but also at the same time, you shouldn't expect us to have like this, the same class or the same type of work that we would have done in class outside of class, you know, when we don't, when like, uh, it was hard for me sometimes to focus on just that task when, you know, I, I'm in my room working most of the time and it's like, you have so many other distractions, you have your whole family, there's so many different things that could be going on that it's hard sometimes to focus. Uh, and so like, I think they had, they had to change their expectations. And so that was something that kind of annoyed me with some teachers is they really kept the same expectations from when we were in school and when we were out of school. So I don't know. And, and they feel like they're like, it's not that hard, just do it. Mm -hmm. When they went to like, well, yeah, they went school to school for it. for it, and it just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you lose power that during that like um, five minute like hurricane? Thing? We well, we lost power for maybe like a couple minutes, but it wasn't that long. Um, and our Wi Fi went out for a bit, but other than that, it came back on. It wasn't too bad. It was yours bad? Yeah, I lost power for probably 23 hours and it was like the one day that i had like no work oh that was nice at yeah least. well no it wasn't nice because i could have gotten so uh, i had like more work the next day oh you could have gone yeah. ahead mm -hmm. and trees like giant branches fell in our backyard did your teacher wait i'm sorry i don't want <laughs> and it, so I, it's short um giant branches fell in our backyard so i spent all this free time mm-hmm bringing these giant branches to the woods and I couldn't even watch TV anyways, so. Yeah. Um, uh, what was I gonna ask? What were you saying before? Oh, no. Yeah, so do your teachers allow you to go ahead? Because, like, mine were very, like, very specific that, like, you weren't able to go ahead. They would lock the assignment until midnight mm -hmm. that night. And I was like, in my opinion, that's annoying to me because, like, say I have something going on or I just purely don't want to do work on a specific day, like I would do all the work before, like in the first week, I pretty much tried to do all the work as soon as possible, early enough in the week. And you know, that was just my goal. And it like helped me finish my work quicker and helped me stay more focused. But now that I just have like a small amount each day, it was just like, once I'm done, I'm like, I kind of wanted to finish it or try to finish as much as I can in a day. But that was just my opinion. Uh yeah, the only subject that did that was science. So the only yeah. the only subject that I like so I would do science every day of the week and then a different subject every day. So it would be like Monday science. No, Monday I would just do science cuz it's Monday and mm -hmm. I don't feel like doing anything. Tuesday science and math, Wednesday science and English, and then Thursday science and social studies, which um was that that made it easier, but because all my other classes, I was able to get all, all, of, all of their work done in an hour. But yeah. all, science took a majority of my day. and then That was the same for me with math, but you go ahead. And then halfway through virtual learning, 
my social studies teachers stopped giving work and instead we had to join a daily Zoom at one o'clock, which that was actually really fun because they made it like they we played like it was weird. We played checkers, like you had to get an answer right in order to move. And um, so that was fun, but then I still had science every day and T Times was just terrible. That's, that's all I'm like. You're not gonna dance around it anymore. No, okay. I'm, done, I'm done talking about science. Okay, we'll we'll focus on not science now. But uh, that was same for me. Is like you, I at least I felt like I had one subject that took me very long. Like all of my other subjects, I could do pretty quickly. Um, you know, just I could you know do it in maybe less than an hour for all the rest of them, and then the uh, you know math would take me an hour, hour to 30 minutes, because like, she would have these really long videos, and I was like, like, you you don't need to have the same lesson plan, or she would give us like two sometimes, it was just, it was dumb to me. She'd be like, oh, here's part one and part two for today. And they're both like 20, 30 minute long videos, and I was like, I'm done, I don't like this. Do you ever notice how in all the, like, all the videos teachers gave of them talking, mm -hmm. they ended it, they'd be like, have good, <laughs> they yeah, didn't finish. They, well, they'd stop yeah, it. It was really. <laughs> oh, and the, at least for science, she, every time she did ours, she was like, okay, guys, well, this I think is going to be the last lesson for this mm -hmm. year. And that was like on Monday of last week. And now mm -hmm. every day she's been like, well, guys, you know, this should be the last <laughs> lesson of this year. Oh, well, now that it's Wednesday, well, this, I promise, <laughs> this will be the last one. And I was like, I don't know. And then I always, this would also annoy me is that like teachers weren't supposed to sign work, assign work on Friday. So what teachers would do is that they would, you know, they would have all the assignments throughout the whole week and normally there'd be a test at the end of the week or something. And they instead of, or, and they put that on the agenda at like, they'll be like, well, you could do this Thursday or Friday. And it's, and then they'd like have a test or something on Friday, but then it'd be open for like up at 11 p.m. or whatever on Thursday so technically you could have done it on Thursday but you just didn't do it and I was like that's dumb in my opinion like, yeah if I'm a teacher I wouldn't give anything on Friday but like all work is due the 12th so like nothing was due at all like nothing has nothing nothing is late yeah yet yeah until the 12th so there's probably a couple kids that are cramming. Yeah, just, just like put it off until well, that's a, <laughs> until they're like 10. The, it, it's so <clears throat> weird to me because like normally at the end of the school year you're just like okay I'm done with school mm -hmm. like everything's in but now with virtual learning I'm still trying to like contact teachers look at my grades because like teachers are still entering my grades and stuff like that and they're like oh well I didn't get this assignment from you I'm like I sent you an email with it and then I have to resend them a picture of it so i still have all my papers liam can probably see them both i have just two stacks of papers um and they're all from the virtual learning and it's just like if a teacher needs it i can send it to him so it's like it it's not that real like finish from school that like oh no more stress and like at least for me i just wanted to go like go outside or like go somewhere with people or something but everything's still closed so it's just like the main event I'm looking forward to at least now that like, you know, school's finally over is I'm going back to Iowa to see my family, but that's about it. I don't know. Do you have anything you're looking forward to now that school's over? Well, I feel, I feel like the whole reason we have school mm -hmm. is not to learn, but to collect all these papers and then we're able to use them for like backyard bonfires over the summer. <laughs> that's, that's just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that's the whole point. Like that's the whole point. They started school just mm -hmm. so we can collect papers to, I, I don't to know. roast would s'mores. They, they didn't originally <laughs> use papers, so what I don't know they, if that's why. Well, they would use like slates and stuff like that back in like the eighteen hundreds. Slates, like you would write chalkboard. It was like a chalkboard. You never seen that before? No. The little. So you know how I thought we they have... used computers back then. <laughs> Bull crap, you did. <laughs> um, that's no. <laughs> Um, but do you know how we had the little whiteboards, the yeah. little square whiteboards? They had like chalk ones and you would like write on it or uh, they would have the chalkboard and like the kids would come up and write on it or they just raise their hand. So there's no paper involved then, but, um, how does paper work? Paper? And they're like, they're made from trees, but like, I think you cut up, well, we've, uh, like we made paper at like a summer camp I went to 
it, we like blended a newspaper. <laughs> so you made paper out of paper. Well, we wanted to make paper that you could write on. That it, it didn't work out so well always because it was like, it was thick pieces of paper. You would blend it up and it, like, in theory, if you could get it fine enough and you would let it dry for long enough. But we were only there for like a week. And so we would do it in the morning and then come back at the afternoon and that'd be our one day project. And we'd have this like mushy pile of newspaper. And I'm sure if you, if you left it out in the sun long enough, you could probably get it to turn into a paper type consistency, but it just didn't work that well. And I don't know, that was dumb in my opinion. Did you have any weird campfire or not campfire camps? Um, probably did. Oh, I went, I went to an art camp. Oh, God. Which, I, don't I, I don't think I wanted to go to the art camp. I think, like, we just had nothing to Wait, do. And painting just, or, like, what type of art camp? Like, theater or what? Like, like painting and drawing and stuff. Oh, that would be so boring in my opinion. And it, 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 was kind of, it was kind of boring, kind of fun. But I just remember I painted, like, we were making self-portraits on, like, poster board. And I drew myself. And I, like, I drew really big lips. And everyone was making fun of how big my lips were in my drawing. That's all I, that's Did all I remember. Did you go to, like, any of, like, the regular ones that, like, you played games at? Because that was, like, one thing I loved about those camps. It's just the games that we got to play. I don't know. That yeah, was just I went, I went to, like, my brother. He used to be a counselor at the NAC. Oh. Uh, so I went there. He wasn't my counselor, but mm -hmm. I went to, camps. like, the NAC camps. What were those like? Kind of, it was kind of fun, but, um... Is it just, like, you do sports? Yeah, something? pretty much. Like, they're pretty much all... Like, they have different names, but they're pretty mm -hmm. much, like, all the same camp. Okay. But there was one summer when my brother... He, he didn't work at the camp anymore, but they asked him to come back for mm -hmm. a week to do a basketball um, camp. camp. And he was like, you could either do the basketball camp or the, like... Or the, like, uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's called Naxter or something with the next to camp where they do a bunch of different stuff. Like, I'm not doing basketball camp with my brother. Basketball? <laughs> no, I'm not saying basketball isn't fun, but I'm not doing it with my brother. brother. Fair enough. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, that's, that's the weirdest camp I've ever done. I don't really go to camps. Uh, yeah, I, that was, like, the one thing I looked forward to over the summer, though. Paper is, camp? Like, no, just camps in general. Because <laughs> I would go to, with a couple of my friends, I'd go to basketball camp, and then one of my friends I'd go to living history farms and then i had to go to like a cyc camp it was like it was a pretty much a christian camp and we'd go there for a week and like i just Ooh. i loved camps those were all like the big thing for me you ever take you take you take a religious head uh i like, did yes over the, like summer camp uh not like, at summer camp Ooh. did you do that yeah and it was terrible at st it was andrews like, or where it, it at yeah at st andrews but it was at the school and like they didn't st andrews i don't think has very good air conditioning if they have air conditioning at all well okay was, maybe they do but they don't want to like pay like paying for it over the summer would be expensive yeah, but it was it was hot and it was just a bunch of people like like religious people that like we're just tell like they were trying to share this to to like fourth grade kids like trying to teach them about god and stuff but the fourth grade kids did not care mm -hmm. at, at all. all yeah at all we just sat there and um we really looked forward to lunch and recess more that like it was it was worse than school because mm -hmm. like i remember the, like the last week of school i didn't want it to end because I knew that the next week I had to go to this, this religious camp. camp, and it was really boring. But there was this one summer where um, my friend's mom was going to be our teacher, mm -hmm. and we were just going to goof off the whole time, and she was going to give us all the answers to the tests and stuff. But then this... There's a test? Yeah. What? And like, like the one year, everyone failed the test, and they made everyone come back and take it again. Okay, well, when we had ours, the best part was, is, like, I did religious ed. So, like, I came from Iowa, as probably most of you guys watching know. Um, uh, so, like, when I came here, originally in Iowa, we were going to, like, have our end of our religious ed in 10th grade. And so when I came here, I was in 8th grade, and they do it in 6th grade here. 
And so when I got here, I had to take the classes with the sixth graders. That How was that? Sucked. It was so no, bad. Did you talk to them at all? No. N- not at all. No. So you were just that. Well, like, I was just like. You were like the, that old. I was just the you kid. You were like that older, tall kid. In the I back. talked. Okay, I talked to some of them, but it was just like it was so weird because like they would talk about like what it's like to be in elementary school, and I was like, I don't care. And then they were. Oh, that's they right. They gave me nicknames. School. My nickname was Tall Fish Man. So. Tall Fish Man. Uh huh. Isn't that like a. Different YouTube like, uh, yeah, that's uh react reaction yeah, yeah, react, time. reaction time. That's his name. And then I remember we used to like go out before, um, before like our or before the class started, we would have the gym to ourselves and have like dunk on the rim and everything. Dunk on the- well, it was just like I don't know what else am I supposed to do. <laughs> the rims, the rims at that place were like super low, so I, it was super easy to dunk. You know, at Saint Andrews is like those rims are like so low. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, okay, this, the religious camp I went to was a lot of fun because, like, they made it fun for just, like, we only had an hour a day of religious part, oh, yeah. and then it was, and it was overnight camp, so, oh, like, overnight camp. well, okay, you had so technically, did you have to pray before you went to bed? Yeah, we, we had an hour and 30 minutes, I'm sorry, because we, we had an hour-long mass, and we had to pray before all the meals, of course, but then we, at the end of every night, it would be, like, 11 p.m. and we'd all be walking and they have this they call it an outdoor chapel and it's pretty much just a big cross with a bunch of benches and you'd go there and um you they would like talk to you about a story so like either the priests the deacons or like the camp counselors would talk you know about a story of their lives or something like how god came into their lives or something like that and so like that was that, I don't know, that was always something I remember. And then I always remember this is the one thing that I, like, it was always fun is we used to do this, like, hug line in the dark. And it, it sounds super weird. A hug line? <laughs> it sounds super weird. But no, you just, like, go hug all the counselors <laughs> and, like, it, it's like a final go ending. Go hug the all the counselors. <laughs> um, but no, that was, like. And then, Every night? No, if you wanted to. It wasn't oh, forced. Dad. I, I They're didn't not really, doing that after I, COVID. <laughs> yeah, I did not do that that much, but it was kind of funny. Um, but then we had like, uh, what's what's the ball pit? Um, it's a it's um it's a stop sign. In oh, the, Gaga. Gaga ball. We used to play that all the time. That was so much fun. I loved Gaga ball. Gaga, Gaga, Gaga. I play Gaga. Mm-hmm. I used to, in um, my dad used to be a counselor at a camp also but it was like when he was like no in like teenage or no like, when my sister and i were like four or five ah. he just did it i guess a summer for fun mm-hmm. i think he, i don't know if he did it i don't think i don't know if he did it for him for fun i know he had fun but i think he also kind of did it so that my sister and i could get in cheaper yeah <laughs> I, I don't know how true that is but um it, i don't know if they let me win or not but I was playing Gaga with the older kids, and I won, like, six games in a row. Yeah, I feel like, okay, Gaga but Now that I think about it, they probably let like me win. We, yeah. <laughs> well, at least at our camp, there was, like, these, like, factions of groups. So, like, you would have all these cabins, and you'd be in your cabin, and that group of people was, like, your people for the whole time. Like, all of, we did, like, all these sporting events and stuff like that, and that would be your group the whole time. And so it would be like, it'd be very weird. Uh, like when you're playing Gaga ball, it's not like a team sport, but it was very like, people would take it very team oriented mm-hmm. where there would just be like, it, there would be a group of, or there'd be like, you know, the St. John's cabin was over here and they were all just trying to stay alive together. And it was really weird. Uh, we also played carpet ball. Have you ever played carpet ball? No. So they get, it's pretty much, you could make it at, like, a Home Depot or something. It's, like, um, it's pretty much just, like, a long table, and you have a little ins- inlets or whatever you call it where it goes a little deeper, and you you put screws down. You put five screws, making, like, a five, you know how on a dice it's one, two, three, four, five? Like, there's that uh, whatever pattern or whatever, and so you'd set your balls up like that, and then you throw the ball down the long pathway, and you had to try to hit the balls. And so you once you got all of them in, you won. That was probably way longer than it needed to be. But yeah. 
and I'm still a blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Here, I bet I could find a photo. I don't need a photo. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. But, yeah, we did that. Oh, but, I don't know. Are you go? Are you, you guys? Uh, are you guys like planning on going to the beach or something? Cause we live close to the beach. If you don't know, the Jersey Shore, but um, as a family, Pop Pop man, I don't know. I, okay. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Prop, maybe once over this. Maybe a couple times over the summer. I know. Uh, we do. We do. Get, we used to go down the beach. Well, we did last year. I don't know if we will this year. We would go down the beach just for a day. Because um, my sister's friend's family gets a beach house, so like mm-hmm. a bunch of like my sister's friend's families would go down for the day to visit, and all the girls would hang out and stuff, and that, that was pretty much it. But I'm I'm not the biggest fan of the beach, though. Yeah, I personally would rather be in a pool. I don't like I, the sandy part. Yeah, I don't, I like if if um if there was a better way to get the sand off and mm-hmm. if I, like you know when you get out of the water like you can dry off mm-hmm. but then if you go to like a uh, restaurant on the boardwalk or something mm-hmm. you're like sticky and salty yeah. and stuff I hate that That's yeah the worst. well I I the shower does it fine for me it's just the sand like if I could get out of the water and not have like all the sand sticking to my feet and I get that like. Logically, that's hard, but like that—that's the one thing that really annoys me is that like, you get all the sand all over your legs and everything, and even when you do go take a shower at the little like showers that they have there, it, like it doesn't work that well. So that's the big challenge at the beach, in my opinion. I'd much rather like have a pool, close to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> like. No, I'd rather have a pool with sand in it. Th- but, but like. It's a pool, so you don't even have to walk out mm-hmm. on the sand. You can just get out on the side. Yeah. And so that you're not wet. Well, I just... Not sandy. I like going to the beach because, like... But also, like, you need to have either a group of friends or have something to do. Like, at least in my opinion... I'm going to be totally honest. My family, we don't... I don't know. We don't do much just by ourselves on the beach. Like, we'll just go in there. And, like... You, with a pool, you can, like, swim around, and, like, normally there's other people to talk to, but at the beach, I feel like everybody, like, doesn't intermingle as much. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It, it, in the water. In the sand, people will talk all the time, but, like, in the water, once you get in the water, you just, like, kind of have your own group, and I feel like it's nicer when you have more people. Do you... I, I have a serious question. Do you pee in the ocean? In the ocean? Yeah. No. Not in the <laughs> ocean. In, the, in a pool? In a pool, it's fine. What? 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 That's what? why the chlorine is in there. What? You know the chlorine smell? You don't pee in the ocean, but you pee in a pool. I'm never getting in a pool with <laughs> Shut you. Shut up. What the heck? Dude, okay, I, think, I, don't, like, I think it's always. the other way around. I don't always do it. Did, did, did you do it in swim and gym no. class? <laughs> no. You're just saying so... that. You're just saying that. No. Oh, well, in swim class, though, he would just like, I don't know. He would just have us, like, go down if we needed to go. I don't know. Yeah. And then you'd have, like, a but, whole court of people. <laughs> but you, so you don't pee in the ocean? No. Fish pee in the ocean. What's well, just, like, I don't know. I don't, just, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't know. But, like, I don't do that much in the pool, though. I've done it before in the pool. I'm, I'm sure I've done it in the ocean, too, mm-hmm. when I was a kid. But it's just, like, I don't go out there. Like, if I need to use the bathroom and I'm at the beach, I don't go to the ocean or if I'm at a pool I would go to the bathroom and say but like I don't know do you do it in the pool or do you no. just, or you just go down the deep end and just yeah trip if, water for if a couple would, seconds you, yep that's what you do it's just you go <laughs> away from everybody you tread water and then you're done and you leave but no that's where the chlorine smells come from you know no it's the chlorine, the chlorine the smell, chlorine smell comes from the chlorine. No, it's actually a chemical reaction between pee and the chlorine. So if you smell it, someone's obviously peed in the pool. The, at my, uh... <laughs> at my, uh, what's it called? Neighborhood pool. You have a neighborhood? Oh, you... you yeah. Talking? Where is it? It's... Do you know what the playground is? No. Uh, is it the front or the back? 
Um, That's what, like, it's carries. like a middle. The, I don't. I just Is don't. it by that like Eagle Ridge or whatever? No. Okay. <laughs> you can go on. Um. I was trying to think of a way to describe it, but. Oh, like. Well, anyways. Yeah. Um, it's a it's an okay pool. They used to have a diving board, but someone um broke it. They used to have a slide. Yeah, you. Told but me someone that. fell off the side onto the concrete, so oh. it's basically just a pool. Mm-hmm. No, nothing fun about it. But they also have a kiddie pool, which is the, about the size oh. of a hot tub. Yeah. And me and my friends used to like use it as a hot tub, like we'd sit in it because like ki- little kids would never go in it. When we were there, at least. Mm-hmm. But we'd sit in it, and we'd be just chilling out. Like, we were, like, these cool guys sitting in a hot tub because it was warm. And then <laughs> uh, my friend's dad came up to us, and he was like, what are you guys doing? And we were like, we're sitting in a hot tub. And then he said, you know why it's warm, right? And we're Cause like, all the kids yeah, yeah, because all the kids feed in it. And we're like, oh, that's why it's that cold. <laughs> It was fun. Yeah. I don't know. I, I personally, like, we have a hot tub, and I don't love it that much. Because, mm-hmm. like, I like being able to just go out and swim and do stuff in the pool. Where, like, when you just have a hot tub, you're just, like, sitting there and talking. Mm-hmm. And that can be, like, fine if you want if you want to talk to that person. But it's, like, I don't know. Sometimes it's just boring. My favorite, I like, if I go to pool, like, there has to be, like, some place I can jump off. Yeah, either I, jump that's, off that's or my, slides. Yeah, or slide because that's like my favorite part. Oh wait, like do you know this? That, like when you're in the air and you're just flying. Mm-hmm. You know the what? I don't know what it's called. The sh- I, I like a shoot slider. I don't remember what it's called. Tube slide. Uh, well, one where it, like it shoots you out in the middle of the ride. I don't know. So like we used to have one at least on our pool that was like it would take you out and then like the pool was down here but it would shoot you out up here so you'd like you go all oh, the way so down. Oh, so it was like a slider and it just had like a hole? Uh-huh. They just like cut it off right at the end and you'd go into the water. It was so much fun. It was awesome. And then have you ever done toilet bowl? Like you probably yeah, have, right? that. that was so much fun. <sighs> I, I People think... get so injured on that though. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I, I feel like I, so I've never gotten a concussion. I've never broken an arm or anything. Mm-mm. But I think I got a concussion from that. And I just never got like, I tested. Cause I, I went, wouldn't be surprised. I went to... Gavin Kohler had a... Uh, like a birth... Like this was a... I think... The beginning... No, when's his birthday? It was just... It's fine. I don't know. But it was in seventh grade. He, he had a bunch of guys. We went up to... <coughs> I don't know what... It, like Great Wolf Lodge or... Is that s- around here? No. I thought that was it's, just a Midwest It's pretty thing. far away. Okay. Um, or some... Uh, it wasn't Great Wolf Lodge, but it was someplace like that. Mm-hmm. And they had a toilet bowl ride. And that's... I, I, I love that thing. I think, yeah. <laughs> I would just cool. go around it over and over again. But there was always one part, like, right when you got out of the tunnel, that it just dropped. And, like, you had, like you couldn't... Yeah, no, but they would always tell like us... I hit my head. They p- tell us, put your hands behind your head and, like, hold your arms like this. Mm-hmm. So it would prevent from, like, you hitting anything. And, like, your head wouldn't bobble as much. And then they'd have you cross your feet, of course, for, like, aerodynamics and stuff like that. Yeah. Or we used to have this one slide at one pool of ours. Uh, we had, like, several in our area. That was, like, we call... It was called the Big Red Slide. And pretty much you needed a shirt to go down it. What color was it? Red. <laughs> But you needed a shirt to go down it because there was all these little, like... Like, you know, when they put the slide together, it's not going to be, like, perfect one-to-one mm-hmm. fit. So there was all these, like, little crevices. And you'd go down so fast that you would, like, hurt your back. And so you need to wear a shirt, but, like, they'd always have you cross your arms. And that was... Oh, that ride... The, that ride caused a lot of head injuries. Because, mm-hmm. like, if you were if you were to sit up right at the end, mm-hmm. you would, like, you'd fall back in the slide and then you'd hit your head. You ever hear... LMT. LMT. It's a uh, lower make field uh, township, township or whatever. Township. Yeah. yeah. Their pool. Mm-hmm. They have like this giant swim club. And so there were like two summers in sixth and seventh grade that like that was like the biggest thing to do for like Council Rock kids. Mm-hmm. Like if you went there, you were cool. And so I went mm-hmm. there and they had, they had, they had uh, two slides. They had mm-hmm. a spinny slide, which was okay. But there's one part of the spinning slide where, like, if you were, like, laying in a weird position, you just go up. 
and then it'd drop you. Ooh. Like, you'd slide up the side, and then... And then the second one was, like, super steep, and mm -hmm. everyone would try to get, like, like skim across the water, like, get down, they go, shh, and then slide across the water. Mm -hmm. And so I looked up, like, a bunch of videos on how to, like, skim water mm -hmm. so you had to arch your back and then right at right before you get up right, right like before, before yeah right before yeah. the end you lift your feet in the air so the whole time like i went down once and the i arched my like, back the whole I, like it was like really high up yeah you're just like <laughs> and then i put my feet in the air and i didn't go far at all and then there one time this guy made it all the way to the like the wall what and it was like it was like from your door uh -huh. to like here. He's like that's how far he, wow. he got. That would be a long while. Okay, I remember the name of the slides. It's called a drop slide. I don't know if you heard of it. I, oh yeah, 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 I yeah. 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 The, those were always so much fun because it'd kick you out, and then you could like do a cannonball or something. I don't know. That was fun to me. But you're talking about the ones where you get in this like machine, and you gotta like put mm -hmm. your arms like mummy. And then it had the then, little, and then it had that. It had that. Uh, like yeah, water would be mm -hmm. coming out of the side. Yeah, and then, and then it had the floor that just fell. Yeah, yeah. I went. That, that was scary. Oh, I love those. Like my, I used to go on those all the time. Yeah. That was like I would do that, and then the toilet bowl at our pool is right next to each other. Whoo! Wait, that so fun? these were pools? Like these weren't like yeah, these weren't like pools. They weren't like uh, amusement parks. No. Oh, we dude, had, like, that's awesome. We had. We so had, they were like, so they were like membership things. Yo, we that had, were like right around your neighborhood. No, they were city pools. Uh -huh. So you would get a city pass. So like, I would get a pool pass for the summer, and like my family would get a pool pass for the summer, and that means you could go anywhere to any of the three city pools for completely free. So there was Clive Aquatics, Valley View, and um, oh, what's the other one? Oh. I know, I can't think of it either. Uh, well, yeah, of course you'd not know. Um, uh, Holiday Park. And so those three would, like, I would, like, those were so much fun. They had, like, Lazy Rivers. Um, Valley View had the most slides and the best slides. Um, but Valley View didn't have a toilet bowl, so uh, the one near me, Holiday Park, did. So that one was fun. It was just, like, oh, I don't know. Those were all pretty fun. Wait, so I hate to bring this up again, but so when you would pee in pools did mm -hmm. you specifically only pee in the toilet bowl no <laughs> i i don't think i ever pee in the toilet bowl i don't know you weren't in there long enough to do that it shoot you out so quickly you just yeah, boom, 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 boom. What? no the, the one i went to was pretty big and mm. i uh like i was able to like grab onto the slide because you, like, yeah. you know how the side is pretty like sometimes dry mm -hmm. i was able to like slow myself mm -hmm. down and i stood up oh that could be so and then i jumped down and the guy at the bottom was like what you came down <laughs> so fast what the <laughs> heck and he was like what and then the second time i went down i just stayed on i tried to so, swim mm -hmm. all the way to him underwater and he didn't know i was doing that so he thought yeah. i was like stuck down there and, and so he jumped in and grabbed me and pulled me up and <laughs> It was like, are you okay, man? I was just, I don't know. I always hated it in the toilet bowl, though. If you go down, like, there would be some times where, like, I would just skirt along the edge. And, you know, like, you'd be very high on it. And then, once you finally got down to the bottom, it was so Fast, sl slow. slow. You were just like, shoom, shoom, and you're just like, what the heck? And you'd have to push yourself. That was always the worst to me. Because, like, I always hated that. But I don't know. And then I was always worried I was going to hit someone or someone was going to hit me. Like, even though they're always, like, you know, the lifeguards are communicating to tell each mm -hmm. other. But it was, like, that was always something I was worried about. I went on a water slide at a pool that it wasn't supposed to be a water slide. It was, like, a makeshift, like, they got, like, a playground water slide. Like, a tube slide that you have. That, like, like, you a, would have, it like, a playset? Yeah. Kind, like, at like, your house? Not, like, a backyard playset. Like, a... Uh, a public park like there's a playground oh okay. a really nice playground and it had like a red tubed so slide. like at like tyler or something like that there's those types of slides right uh yeah yeah okay so it wasn't meant to be a water slide but you can tell that like they just hooked up they ran a hose all the way to the top 
stuck a hole in the slide. Oh, that's so weird. And so it, it was, you would go down it, but you're going down it really fast, and it's so enclosed because it's not meant for people to be mm-hmm. going that fast. And you're just going <laughs> the whole time down. I am. Oh, that, would, that would suck. And then you get, like, the, it was, it, um, it'd be really, like, not really steep, but steep going around, and then right at the end, it'd flatten out. <laughs> so you wouldn't even make it all the way to the water, and you just it have just, to scoot out. Oh, are you, you know the ones where it was just, like, you would be a regular, like, slide, and then instead of going into a pool, it just goes into that really long area? Mm. Like at water parks, if they don't have like a pool oh, to yeah, go yeah, into, yeah, yeah, yeah. you go. I hated those. Yeah. Cause it'd be like it'd be deep enough that like if you were like on a fast one and they told you to cross your arms, cross your legs, and you went down, then you would like go underwater for a second and you'd like breathe it in. I would always breathe in the water, and I'd be like, <sighs> "You ever go to assess me, please?" No, never. Yeah, did they have one? No. There's one like right by us now. Mm-hmm. It's for little kids. There's multiple. I thought we we uh, <laughs> I have no I idea. Know. I've never been. But I grew like I grew up. I would go there like probably like twice a month. Mm-hmm. But then I got older, and like I stopped going, and then my friend got free tickets. Free tickets? Yeah, for some like a raffle or something. So he took oh, me. That sucks. He took me. Wait, no, how I was old? like I was like okay, we'll go. Like, Wait, how old? I was like, t- I was nine. Okay. Something. No, I don't know. I was like I was old enough for where it was lame mm-hmm. to go. To <laughs> yeah, but I st- it was like they have one fun ride for like older kids that like I think it would still be fun at our age. Mm-hmm. It's a, the rubber ducky water slide, and there's a bunch of steep drops. But at the very end, there's a really steep drop, and I I put my hands up because like that's what you're supposed to do on roller coasters. This ain't a roller coaster, so I wasn't fastened in, and we were just we were just in this giant tube, unit with, two? Oh, two. Okay. with one other family, and so I fly out, and I just, like my hands are up, and I just go, and I grab onto the tube, and I'm sliding behind them. Oh my I'm holding God. on, and then my friend grabs me and pulls me over, and I thought we were gonna get kicked out, and I was like, I've done what? I've done that before where so I fun. fell out of the tube on a slide. Like, we were, so I would go to my cousin, or go with my cousin sometime. Like, during the summer, my sister would, like, be gone at, like, some, if she'd do a color guard camp. And, you know, over the summer, um, my uncle and my aunt would take me out with their family to, like, uh, somewhere called, like, Crystal Cove, I think. Mm -hmm. And we would go, and then I remember one time, I was just, it was in a two-person slide with my younger cousin. And I just, I remember, I was in the back. And I don't know why I put my hand behind me, but I put my hand behind me for a second, and then I just popped out of the thing. And so I held onto the back for a couple seconds. I ended up pulling myself back in, but I was like, "That's it's so weird when you pop out, and you're like, oh, shoot. Um, that, the two-person tube slides mm-hmm. are always the weirdest, like, most awkward thing. Because, well, like, you can never it's, go to it's, e- it's either... Like you put your arm, your legs, oh, and you yeah. got like your crotch right by someone's back, or you got someone's like legs, <laughs> legs right coming. next to. You. Well, yeah, you have to go with someone you know. I think. Yeah, yeah. Like if I know that person, it's not as weird. But like when they like pair two people together, mm-hmm. and I'm just and, like, and, oh like, crap! Like this has never happened to me, but like you always see like those people in line who are getting on, and. Uh, Oh, there's like, and it's like it's a weight thing where like either the heaviest person has to go in front or the heaviest person has to go in the back, <coughs> and that and so the lifeguard says, so it's it's like, a really, like a pretty heavy girl and like a kind of like, thin thin girl, mm-hmm. and and the lifeguard's like okay he doesn't want to like say He's offend like, anyone yeah offend anyone so it's like okay whoever's heavier um go in the back. And, and they just look at each other like they don't know, but it's pretty obvious. I hate, I hated when they, people would always do that on like, um, like there was, yeah, the weight limit on the slide. You weren't mm-hmm. allowed to exceed like 12, 1200 pounds. And so like they'd have Who's you getting 1200 pounds? And I just, I hated that like you would, they would be like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Like you're going to have to leave your group and like go find oh, yeah. another one. I'm like, God, that would suck. But I don't know. I guess. You know, but like when we went on that log ride, they had us like go by weight 
for a part of it. Where was this? Remember when we at were at um, Dorney? Six Flags. Six Flags? We did the water slide. Water slide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just remember they told... Because I was sitting next to, an, like, a heavier guy, and, like, they both assumed that we were both heavy, because I'm tall, well, and tall. he's... Yeah, and he was a heavy guy, and I, they were just like, all right, well, one of you's gonna need to move. And the guy was like, why? And he's like... And they were like, well, you And because like, you're fat! <laughs> they never said it, but, like... <laughs> it was exactly just exactly like, what they said. I don't know. I think he ended up moving, because we were sitting next to each you're other. You're fat. The donut store's down that way. Okay, we... By the log flow. <laughs> we, we were at the log flow. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was... It, that, I don't know. Those, I love the log rides, but you can't do it at the beginning. It sucks to do it at the beginning. You, have to, to do do it at the, you have to do it like at, like a little towards the end, but like yeah. not exactly. Not exactly. End, so you're not wet on the bus. Uh -huh. But we were all wet on the bus anyways. Why? Oh, because it rained. Because it rained. That sucked. That was Oh, crazy. my no, God. That was so, like, that was, well, like, okay, yeah. when we got on the bus, I was like, I hope this bus tips over just so it's more dramatic. Well, because, like, it was so fun. It was so fun. It was like a movie. But when we had to sit on the bus. <laughs> that was terrible. And, oh, we are, like, our whole clothes were just soaking. That sucked. It was, it was funny because, like, someone brought a speaker mm -hmm. and on the, uh, they left it on the bus. But on the way back, everyone was soaking wet, and they started playing a David Dobrik vlog, mm -hmm. and they were just holding it up for the back of the bus to see. Mm -hmm. But everyone in the front just heard like David Dobrik like, <laughs> like dude, because like he just does something, and he just starts cracking up. Uh huh. And, and it was so weird, because like they were just blasting David Dobrik, and then no one could see what was going on. It was weird. We were all so hungry though on our bus that teachers were starting to bring like gum to the back of the bus and being like. Hey guys, here's some food to eat. <laughs> here's <laughs> some food. Well, like I remember, I ran with a shake in my hand the whole time. Like that's how it, <laughs> I can't drop this shake. Well, I was just like, I don't care. I paid for the shake. I'm gonna I paid I'm for gonna, the shake. I, I'm like, I'm gonna risk my life for this shake. I wasn't risking my life. I just, I actually kind of was happy I wasn't on the first bus because it was kind of fun. Did you run through the woods? Yeah, I, I, I gotta do that. And then we had to sit in that building. I forget who, like, oh. my, it was funny, because, like, I, was, I started, I was, I don't like to read that often, mm -hmm. but, like, I was, I was trying to, like, read more then, and so I finally started reading The Shining, and I was really into it. I was on, like, page 40, and so I brought it on the bus to, like, read, but I got car sick, uh -huh. and so... I, I like I I ended up not reading it. Mm -hmm. Did you leave it on the bus? No, I didn't leave it on the bus. I brought it in my bag, and so oh. I got to that like little shack in the woods, mm -hmm. opened up my bag, I'm, and it, it was like three times as yeah. big, and all the words are smeared and stuff. Oh, that would suck. I I didn't I didn't <laughs> bring anything though. I brought I br all I brought was a hat, and then I think I brought like no that was it because remember. Like, we we all rented out a locker, and, like, I don't know. I didn't have much stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was, was just, funny. like, it was, it was, a, gr it was a great day. Because I remember we were on the ride. It was, like, with all your sister's friends, and then we were just there. And we were all doing that Batman ride. Remember that ride? It was the yeah. only, it was, like, one of the only rides still on. It was right next to mm -hmm. our lockers. So we decided to keep going on it. And then finally they're, like, we're shutting down this ride. And then yeah, yeah, that was. It was like we were like, funny. well, why are we shutting it down? Like you know, it's, it's indoors. Of, well, and it's like fine. We thought it was not that, raining that, too bad. That was, yeah, that's right. We kept going on it, and we were like, it's it's probably calmed down by now. And it uh -huh. was just, it was so. Bad. Everyone was getting tornado like mm -hmm. warnings, and then there was like it wasn't a tornado, but there was like a like a cloud, a cloud. A that, cloud was, that looked kids like, started to freak they're out. Like, ah! And then girls were crying. The employees were like, oh, remember Mr. Mr. Brainerd. Mr. Mr. Salome was like, Mrs. Salome, like, if you don't, most people probably don't know no. who she is. Huh. She's like, 
she's short. Let's just she's put short. it that way. She's muscular. But she was, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, she was, like, in some employee's face. She was like, you're not just going to let these kids be outside when there could be a tornado? And they're like, well, ma'am, we're the worried. The merchandise. Well, yeah, we're worried about them stealing the merchandise because, you know, this room is only supposed to have, like, like 200 and something people. And there's, like, 300 of you guys. And, so, like, we couldn't watch and, all of you at the, the same time. The thing about Six Flags is that their, their merchandise... Probably cost ten dollars <coughs> to make. Less than that. Way less than that. Yeah, like the most expensive thing was probably like a sweatshirt, probably. Yeah, a sweatshirt, and and they sell it for like fifty seven dollars. Everything so way over so like they, they it, even if ki- kids wouldn't, I don't think kids would steal in that si- si- situation. I don't know. Situation. Situation, but like there'd probably be one or two kids be like, I yeah, grab this keychain, but. I mean, you're not going to lose that much money. But we ended up all getting, like, free tickets and they stuff. They ended up, yeah, losing more money yeah. then. Because we got free tickets and free meals. Mm-hmm. But the, the meals were okay. The meals, the meals were back. <laughs> yeah, they were they're, fine. They were, they were still, like, they were, they were, like... It was something to free, eat at the park. So they were, like, the messed up burgers uh-huh. over there. No. That's what I got. I got, really? like, weird shaped burgers and stuff. Oh, when I went there and got used my free thing, we got, like... Like, not great food, but we got fine food. But Where'd you get the burger? Or no, we went to, um, by the bazaar or whatever, there's that, like, barbecue place. We went there, mm. and I just got a pulled pork sandwich. Oh, that fine. Probably... You know? But I think I got, like, the burgers that, like, probably, uh, like, sat on, sat on the, uh, the fryer, the fryer too long or something. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I, I don't think the employees are... No, but it's because the impl- like. Did they purposely they, do that because you had a free coupon? Yeah. They're like, oh, this guy's kind of for free. They probably have some protocol. Someone has like, <laughs> free. This, this guy but has it for once, free. Once they food. got all the kids out of the store, not even out of the park, out of the store, they closed the door yeah. and ran. That, yeah. That's and were like moving kids out of the way so they could uh, get out of the door. Close the door. Well, that was like, it was so crazy. And then... Like, we were standing in that middle area, you know. If you haven't gotten to Six Flags, there's, like, that little middle, middle area right when you walk in. Um, and With we were just, six flags. Yeah. Well, six like, giant flags. Yeah, balls. just right there. And we were all just like, okay, like, what are we going to do here? And then our teachers were, or, and then they were about to close the gates. And they're like, you guys have to go right now because there's these gates to exit. And so, like, we, they, like... Um, a couple people are like starting to go outside and then we finally all go and I don't know, it was so weird because some teachers were like, no, we're staying here because that's the safest way to go. Mm-hmm. And then some teachers were like, well, like, yeah. I, we have to go. And that, and there was that like, there were like three, three minutes where it was just thunder, thunder, thunder. Mm-hmm. And so kids would run to one side, yeah. like screaming and then another sound, the other side screaming mm-hmm. and it was, it I was remember crazy. But, like, the, was it the Diablo, not the Diablo, um, the Diablo was, we were on the Diablo when the whole thing started, but. Yeah, and we let those uh-huh. people on the last I, yeah, was, ride. Yes. So, like, we, okay, this is weird. We were on, we were on, in line for the Diablo, and we had, we were there for the last part of the ride, and, um. It was two girls. Okay, two girls were the same. Like, they like, wanted to ride with their like behind their friends. Yeah. Because they miscalculated, so we're like, yeah, sure. Yeah. And then they closed the ride right before we got on. Uh huh. And then yeah, we were about to get on, and then they go, oh guys, I'm um, sorry about the inconvenience, but uh, you know, the weather radar is like it's saying there's gonna be a storm. And we're like, what? Like, the like whole, there's no storm. Well, the whole day was so annoying because like everybody wanted to go on what was the big the big slide called? Uh, not the big slide. Uh, the big Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Like yeah. I don't know if that's the drop ride or the. <coughs> it's one of the two. Um, but everybody wanted to go on the big ride, and we weren't allowed to go on it because there were sprinkles or there. It just like it would sprinkle for like five Someone minutes. Someone dropped their cupcake. Well, no, but it was like sprinkling outside for like five minutes and then they'd shut down the ride for like an hour mm-hmm. just in case. Cause the ride, it was so fast. It's, is it the fastest in America or something? Um, wait, which one are you talking about? The roller coaster or the drop? The roller coaster. Uh, the drop was I think in, it's the highest drop. Okay. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. The roller coaster or the, uh, the drop was working the whole time. 
But the roller coaster, they close that because I guess it goes so fast that when the sprinkles hit you, it can like cut your face and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they didn't allow us to go on that. We ended up, were able to go on it, but it took forever to get there. I, like, <coughs> that drop ride is fun. I and mean, I think that's one of the, like, better, best rides, like, mm -hmm. giant drop one. And there's, like, never any line for that. The giant drop, yeah, that I think, other than the main ride that it's connected to, mm -hmm. the main one, the drop one is the best one because, like, there's no line, really, and it's a lot of fun, and it's not like, you know how some drop rides, there's pretty much just one main drop, and then mm -hmm. it kind of just, like, slows down or goes up real quick? Like, that one, you'd go up and you'd drop a little bit, go up, drop a little mm -hmm. bit, go up, drop a little bit, and then you'd finally be at the top after they did that, and then you'd drop all but the way down. it was scary. Like, that, like, like you, you hear that. a click, you're like, uh-huh. Well, and because then I could just, I'd like... Well, they would disconnect you probably from the line because they pull you up on a line and then they'd probably disconnect the line or whatever and then you'd just mm -hmm. be sitting there and then once they released you, like the brakes are probably whatever. And then I, the thing I hated is I wore a white shirt when I went there uh, with my cousins when we used the free tickets. I wore a white shirt and they it warns you, of course, there's dripping oil because it goes so fast they have to like lubricate it. And so I just remember I had like this splotch of just oil on my shirt because I was waiting there. I don't know. That was something. I just remember I, I, I don't have the shirt anymore. But it's just like I used. It was like a line of oil down the shirt. But I, I remember I went there with my brother, mm -hmm. and we went on the ride. And since I knew like the click meant that it like <coughs> it, was it was about to it go, was about to go, um, like it would go. And so I counted down. Five, four, three, two, one, and he didn't like it. He was like, I, I ruined the anticipation for him. So on the way down, he was like, you jerk. I was, I was, the people that worked the station were always so much fun, though, because they were like, oh, they would always make a joke or something like mm -hmm. that. And th they were nice. But, I don't know. I just always remember we had to, like, figure out how to get into the other line without getting caught. Remember when we, like, like we went to the, I don't know, a part of an area and we went through the fence there or whatever. We did that after the ride. I sort of remember I don't yeah. know what. Or we put your clothes or something, or not your clothes, your phone or something oh, in yeah, the trash we can. Yeah. We... I hated that. Okay, in my opinion, if if if, if you're an amusement with, park. Oh, yeah. And we're, with, don't make with, us. With uh, Ronald. Uh-huh. But and don't. And then he, then he, we couldn't find him mm -hmm. when it started raining. And he, he, I had like 50 bucks on me and my, and he had my 50 bucks in my phone. I know. Well, it was just like, it was so, it was so dumb to me. Cause like, if I'm, if I'm an amusement park, I like, I get that you want to make people pay for lockers and stuff like that, but just to put your phone or your wallet in, you should at least have this, a smaller or small slot where like, before you go on the ride, you can throw your keys, phone and wallet. And that's all it can hold. It can't hold anything else. Mm -hmm. But like... That, in my opinion, is so dumb that they don't have They used that. to have that. You, they used to have things, like, right before you get on the ride. Mm -hmm. But now they want to just make the maximum amount of profit well, no, but on people you. people can still steal it. So that's, oh. that's, like... Well, okay, like, they, at least, at the one near me, like, in Iowa, they used to lock it. The, they'd lock it before you got on. Or they'd lock it when you got on, and then normally there'd be two roller coasters coming, and then they'd unlock oh, the other one, and then they'd... Um, lock that one once the other people got on and once yeah. you came back they yeah they had that they you. had that at Dorney cause remember we went to mm -hmm. Six Flags oh, and yeah, then yeah, like yeah. a week later we went to Dorney <coughs> and it was it was boring <laughs> yeah because Six Flags is just so like well, chaotic we, we went on the one one where it was just like you went up and then you spun and you came down and you, it was like yeah you, we went on that a lot that, yeah that was fun the line was short but the thing at Dorney, the problem with there is, like, we went there b or during a music competition. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of people there. And it just, you went up and you went down. And, like, that one was the one that was, like, most fun. And the line was short. But, like, some of the other ones, the, like, we waited. How long did we wait for that one uh, rickety ride? It was, like, boom, 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 boom. 
I was like 30 yeah, minutes or something or 40 minutes. Yeah, and it wasn't worth it at all. It was not it worth it. It just hurt the whole well, time. Yeah, it was a kitty ride and it hurt. Like, it and, like, hurt me because, like. Wait, it hurt me too. Cause yeah, it, it hurt you more because you're cause I was like I was like this and I could barely put my knees in and I was like, God, this thing sucked. And it just, like, you got, like, whiplash. Mm -hmm. I used to like the old roller coasters. Not that I don't. It, like, some old roller coasters are good, but the seats are not made for me at all. Mm -hmm. I've, I remember I had to get help from, like, um, a guy. Because, like, I had my cousin on the side of me, and I was in this roller coaster because, like, he's the smallest person when we were at this one amusement park. And I was, like, stuck in there. I literally couldn't get my knees out because they had the bar, and the bar go up. And so the bar was, like, stuck by my knees, and I couldn't get up. And so they, like, had to, like, they had to, like, loosen up the bar, and so then it went forward, and then I finally got up. They were like, stuck on rides? What? They were getting stuck on rides? Like, their ride broke while you were on it? Yeah, I've had that, well, it, like, st so, you know the, um, it's Nitro at, uh, Great Adventure? Yeah. Yeah, so we, you know how there's that, like, up part, and then it slows you down for a second, and then you go pretty much right to the end? We got stuck on that up, like, the, that part right there. And it ended up, because, like, that stops you, but I guess they also had something that could, like, speed you up. So, like, when we, we came to, like, a pretty much a complete halt, and then they just, like, I don't know what they did. They pushed a switch or something, and then it, like, gave us a little push to finish out the ride. But, like, we were stuck right at the end there. And I was like, that was so weird to me. But uh, it wasn't a real, like, <clears throat> I don't know. I went to Six Flags, and, um, with, with my brother again, a different mm -hmm. time though, with my brother and my sister, and uh, we went on the Superman. Because oh, yeah. remember, I didn't want to go on the Superman. Uh huh. Because. Uh, I want to go on the Superman. Because, like, you lay on your stomach. You. And we got stuck on the Super. Like, it was right at the end. Oh. Like, we were about to get off, and it got stuck. And so we were there for, like, 35 minutes on our stomachs, and we felt sick right after. And that would be I, so bad. And for some stupid reason, we were about to go home, but I wanted to go on this Houdini thing where, like, you sit in a chair, in, in like, these chairs, and the, it looks like the room is spinning, and mm -hmm. that just made it, like, ten times yeah. worse. And so I, we left. And we that's left. the one ride at Great Adventure I don't think I've gone or I know I haven't gone on yet. It was Superman, because I always, like, I always get there and then wait for it, and then we wait for it a bit, and then it, somehow it always shuts down. It always mm -hmm. closes. Some something with that ride always closes, and so I've gone on the, the lantern one or green lantern or whatever. That one sucks. Cause of your knees. Well, yeah, cause you're connected. You're standing up and you're like holding onto your bar, and the whole like whole all the G's are going right down mm -hmm. in your legs, and you're having to hold yourself up instead of like you know the seat pushing you. Yeah, and, so it, and if you didn't like adjust so your much. seat, if you didn't adjust your seat right. Mm -hmm. It's like pushing against your balls. Yeah. Well, because they have you standing on this platform for a little bit, and then they lower the platform. And I'm just... That was so dumb to me that they lowered the platform. But I guess it, like, it helps you get more of, like, a you know, snug fit or something. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. That was, like, something that, like... It made it so uncomfortable to ride. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But, like, I don't know, some some rides just, like, they really need to, like, don't try to be different with the seating. Well, the, the only reason I do that is because I think Green Lantern, like, stands mm -hmm. when he's flying or so. He, he can do, he like, can, like, yeah, a weird hover. hover thing. But, like, that's it's a, just have a normal it's roller stupid, coaster. Well, it was a good roller coaster, too, without that. Like, if you didn't put that... Mm -hmm. stupid seat there it'd be a great roller coaster because it would just be you know you're sitting there on the roller coaster and you're going and like you know is it's and then they have like the you know the mist at some points and like is is that the one with the fireworks because so. there's one it's the bizarro that has the fireworks or the fire right? yeah bizarro it just fire and yeah i don't know that was fun in my opinion but other than that i don't know yeah, it was a fine ride. I want to go on Superman, though. Yeah, I haven't gone in it, so I just want to check off that one. But I don't know. It's it's nice to go. I like amusement parks, but, like, sometimes it's just, like, they're a little bit boring. Yeah. Because, like, 
I don't know, the, like Dorney. If there's no like thrill rides, and if there's the no lines, thunderstorm. <laughs> well, yeah, but also like you need line or like if the lines are short and the rides are at least like worth the wait. Like even if the l rides aren't that good, but the lines are all like pretty short. Mm -hmm. Okay, like now it becomes more worth it because you're being able to go on like multiple or like many many rides. Where like if you go to Great Adventure. The rides, the good rides, most of the time, if you go at the wrong time, they're, they're like, completely packed. Like, it's impossible to get in there. And then, like, you have to also wait to sometimes get a locker to put your phones in. And it's just, it's a dumb setup. And it's, like, you think you're about to get on the ride real short because the ride broke down. Uh -huh. And they fix it. And... So everyone's rushing to the ride. You get there, and you're, like, set, you're, get, you're gonna be the second people, second, um, like, Second ride, ride, yeah, but then it breaks down the first uh -huh. ride. And you're just, like what? That and with the process of like, I it was always it was so dumb to me. Is like when even at the some roller coasters where they shut down even because of the rain and the rain wouldn't affect you. Like I get it on the really fast one that like might hurt you, but like on the Diablo and stuff like that. Like I heard people said that they were on that ride and it shut down for them even though when it started sprinkling. I'm like. That's dumb. The ride doesn't go fast enough. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, podcast. Of Liam here. Don't forget to check him out. I've been loving having him in the podcast. It's been super fun. You know, we've done Zoom calls and now we're back together. So, uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go over and check out the podcast on, you know, Anchor, Spotify, Apple, like Google Podcasts all the you know podcast platforms there were over there so yeah don't forget to check it out alrighty guys see you guys later and goodbye all right.